5.30, months after a Stoughton crash killed an engaged couple, police have charged another driver with causing it. And investigators say that the man who is responsible took video of the crash. WBZ's Bill Shields has the story. The oak tree on Plain Street still bears the scars from the crash. And living across the street, Valerie Hampton will never forget that day. A lot of people tried to help the two people who were in the car, but they realized that they were dead already at the time. It was last May when Mike Ludington's pickup truck slammed into the tree, killing Ludington and his fiancée, Angela Goodrich. At the time, there were reports that another driver may have had a hand in the crash. Now, eight months later, Stoughton police believe they found that other driver. Our detectives in initially just had uh, Possibly a gray car was involved, and initially that's all they had to go on. And they followed the evidence, they tracked everything down. Police have arrested 27 year old Matthew Peter of Mansfield. He lives here with his father. Neither would talk with us. But police say the crash was actually recorded by Peter, that he was shooting cell phone video as he raced Mike Ludington's truck. Two victims are involved here, and their families are finally going to be able to, you know, see some justice. Angela Goodrich's father was stunned that Matthew Peter was released on personal recognizance. I'm glad that that person's been arrested. Yes. And I'm just very surprised that I understand he's free. What happened here last May took two lives. And because of it, 27-year-old Matthew Peter is now charged with two counts of vehicular homicide. He'll likely go to trial in the spring. In Stoughton, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Do you 